Hallelujah. The message is for today to live in, in his power. Amen. In his power of resurrection. Yes. In his power of miracle. Yes. Signs and wonders. Amen. Amen. We open in Romans chapter 8, verse 11. The Spirit of the living God who raise up Savior and Redeemer Jesus Christ from the dead, live in you. Amen. And just as God Almighty raised the Messiah Yeshua Jesus Christ from the dead, He will give life to your mortal bodies Amen. by the same Spirit living within you. Amen. Hallelujah. That's meaning his spirit of the resurrection living in you. We are in the April is in the presence of resurrection power. Amen. Yeah. And we are joyfully celebrate this. This is not only Easter. It's the power of resurrection. It's connecting with the Passover. Amen. Yeah. And this month. We be talk about his power of resurrection more and more about the Passover. Amen. You know, people who left the Egypt, slavery, pain, suffering, they going out from Egypt and bring Egypt with them. They bring spirit of slavery with them. And God wants to take this mind, the power of spirit of slavery from your mind and from your emotional feelings. That's why no one quick enter into the land of Canaan, the land of the promise. There's only the next generation who never experienced slavery, who never experienced poverty, who boring in the desert, living in the desert, living in the desert and appreciate God for the provision. Amen? Amen. This mind of people, they never experience the past. That's what God is so smart. He confused them and confused them for 40 years until the old generation be passed. The meaning not only old generation, the generation who still have holding the sword. And they be passed and the young generation have the new vision. And we are this young generation. Amen. Calling generation. Joshua generation. Amen. Chosen generation. Amen. To not have the power of slavery in our mind. Amen. Amen. And God said expect the impossible by God. Amen. Stand firm and see his glory. What are the requirements to leave the power of resurrection, my brethren. The pure heart. In Psalm 51, 10 says. God create a pure heart in me. And renew a right attitude with me. Wow. Amen. Create in me the pure heart, God say. Oh God. Renew my spirit. Renew my destiny. Renew my mind. My brethren, you will not be sitting and like before. You are sons and daughters of God. He paid the price in Via Dolorosa. He go and carry all your pain and your sicknesses and your generational curses to the Golgotha. To the cross. And God say here to us, the forgiveness power is the power of resurrection. In Matthew chapter 5, 8 says, God blessed those who heart as pure, for they will see God. Pure heart is meaning forgiving heart. The person who is not carrying the, the pain of other people of unforgiveness. You release yourself totally. It's hard to forgive. You know, it's hard. My brethren, special people who betrayed you, special people who is 
hating you and speaking in back of you, chismes, criticize you. It's hard to release. Maybe you say by your words, I forgive you, but it's not easy, my brethren. Proverbs chapter 4, 23 says, Guard your heart above all else. Proverbs chapter 4, 23. For it's determinate the curse of your life. Wow. Doing the will of God. To release. In 2 Peter chapter 3, 9 says, But God is beginning patient with you. But God do not want anyone to be lost or perish. But God wants all people to change their hearts and leave come to repentance. The Lord that promise is not slack, as some men are conslacknesses. But is patient toward us and will have no man to perish, but will all. We have everlasting life. Wow. Walking in the resurrection power. You know, and we are believers. We must. You know, he resurrected for me every day. Amen. I'm not only waiting for this day. Amen. He is my resurrection savior. Amen. Every time when I go to the garden tomb. I don't go anymore to the uh, uh, holy sepulcher. Because I don't feel he is there was resurrected. But I go to the garden tomb of Jesus Christ where I see the tomb is empty. And I remember in the door to say, he's not here. He is risen. Why so you cry so much? You have been rejoiced because he take the all the burdens. Amen. And you must walk and dwell in the power of resurrection. Amen. Amen. On your best day and your worst days. Do we really understand the power of resurrection and this impact on our life, my brethren? Do I live each day with the knowledge that because he lives, my life is forever changed? Because he lives. He is my way and life. The praise in 1 Peter chapter 1, 3 says, The praise be to God the Father, to our Lord Jesus Christ, in His great mercy, He has given us the new birth and to living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Amen. Walk in the power of the resurrection, my brethren, is the amazing. The resurrection, the resurrection. The resurrection gives you perspective to know there is the purpose in your plan. Amen. This is your resurrection season, my brethren. Amen. April. Amen. It's also spring season of blessing. Hallelujah. And God said, it's the time to get up, to raise up. It's the time to not give up. God is getting ready to lift you up among and the people that try to bring you down. Amen. On that, it might know him, the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering. Amen. My brethren, to know the meaning of the cross, you must know one who died there, Amen. who paid the price there. Not only for me, for you, my brother. For every mankind in this world. Calvary, like in English say, express the love of God. Amen. The resurrection explains the power of God. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of resurrection. Amen. Continue raising up God's people. The people of God who is not compromised. That they may eventually become the bride of Messiah. Amen. My brethren, like again I say in Romans chapter 6, 4, say. Yeshua Messiah, Jesus Christ, shed his blood on Calvary and rose from the dead so we can have redemption today. Amen. He is the 
business of mankind all things new. Amen. We are bearing with him, in Romans chapter 6, 4 say, with him, Yeshua Jesus, through baptism and to death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father. Even so, we also shall walk in newness of life. Amen. Newness of life is meaning with new perspective, with a new hope, with a new opportunities, with new responsibilities. You will not be like before. Amen. The dead and resurrection of the Savior, Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus Christ, as greater event in the history, my brethren. For millions of believers, Christians around the world, remembering these events continue to be the important part of everyday life. Use your resurrection authority, my brethren. And here, make full use the authority you have as believer in Christ to lead other people to eternal life. Amen? The greatest power of air is the sea person become believer, born again. So as valuable as is the minister to people, physical needs. Don't stop there. Share the gospel message Amen. with other people as often as you can. By doing so, you are be helping to release the God's resurrection power into our lives. Amen. Into their lives. Amen. Amen. Stay closely connecting to Abba Father, God Almighty. So your life as the believer, Christian, will reflect the king of the character and obedience in short. Do your best to live faithfully to represent the Savior Jesus Christ's will as other people see and work in your life. They will be attracted to Him. Every day continue to pursue God passionately and your passion for Him will spark interest of others around you who can pursue Him themselves. My brethren, Expect the impossible Amen. through the power of resurrection. Amen? Amen. Just as resurrection itself was impossible for anyone but God. Amen. The power be behind the resurrection will take you into situations that are impossible for you to deal successfully with on your own. Expect God to challenge your faith, Emuna, when you ask for His resurrection power in your life. But know that if you trust Him, to really trust Him, truly really believe to Him, truly really release everything to Him, you experience greater adventure that you can't imagine. It. My brethren, I have experienced for 29 years to serve in the Lord. I see miracle signs in my life where I, my physical eye, not believe. Where God is turning to change me, to show me more how God is great. Amen. Experience resurrection joy. Because there's not suddenness in the power of resurrection. It's not only small Santonino, little Jesus. He is the Son of God. Unbelievable. You know, he is the miraculous God. You know, we're serving the King of kings, the Lord of lords. The freedom from sin and hope in Jesus that the resurrection produce bring great joy in your life. If you allow you constantly changing your circumstances to control your life, you can easily lose your happiness. That's meaning, and you are trying to control yourself. Try to, you are fighting for you. No, give to the Lord. Amen. Totally give. We now give our life to Him. Amen. To Pastor Averett life, to my daughter life, your life where we pray every day. Amen. That's why I send it to Sister Joanna. Effort, 
Where are you now? I pray for you now. Yeah. You know, because I want to see you, you are in the house of the Lord. Growing, changing, you know. And people sometimes not sending where well, well, they're passing through, you know. We need to know because we are intercessors. Yeah. Amen. Jesus Christ, Yeshua the Messiah, He is the intercessor. Amen. He always praying. He always walking in the Spirit. That's what's very important. But if you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you, Amen. you experience what? Joy. In Hebrew, simcha. Joy. Which will remain constant Despite your circumstances. Unlike happiness, joy is more than emotions. It's ability to see beyond your circumstances to God who has ultimate control over them and always act according to what best for you. Amen. Resurrection power is the promise to every believer in Messiah, Jesus Christ, that we receive the same way that Jesus gave it. Amen. That is by accepting the sacrifice of the Savior on the cross for atonement of our sin. Hallelujah. This is how we receive the life of Yeshua, Jesus, Amen. in us. Amen. Amen. God give us both ability and power to accomplish His this through His Holy Spirit. Ruach HaKodesh. There is the process that believers go through empty ourself or our life in order to receive more of His life. Amen. This is the process of sanctification. And it's work of the Ruach HaKodesh of Holy Spirit, which accomplished through our cooperation, my brethren. The word newness, fresh, new, Lechadesh in Hebrew, Hadash is new, but Lechadesh, newness, in the scripture about means renewal, to be renewed. Notice that we shall walk in newness of life. Every day, my brethren. Renewal is the to be way of life. Not a one time or once in a while event. The resurrection power of Jesus Christ is given through the Holy Spirit, like I say. As we allow it flow through us as the river of life. Amen? Bringing constant what? Revival. Amen. But if the Spirit of Him who raised the Jesus of the dead dwell in you, like we read in Romans chapter 8, 11. Dwell in you. He will raise the Christ from the dead, will also give you life forever to your mortal bodies through His Spirit who dwell in you. Amen? The same form of life that raised the Savior, Jesus Christ from the dead, is all in all believers. In all believers. My brethren, is the something God wants to speak to us. Wake up us back to Savior. Wake up back to Yeshua Jesus. There are so many people asking me about question. Why is the resurrection of Jesus Christ is so important in the Holy Scripture in the New Testament? But I want to say to you today, my brethren. The resurrection of the Savior Jesus Christ is important for several reasons. First, my brother, the resurrection witnesses to the immense power of God Himself. To believe in the resurrection is to believe in God. It's a strong. If God exists, and if He created the universe and has power over it, that he has power to raise from the dead. Amen. 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 He, if he do not have such power, my brethren, he is not worthy of our faith and worship. My brethren, only he who create life can resurrect it after the dead, and only he can reverse and say in the first Corinthians chapter 15. 54 to 55. 
You know, we have gained victory over the grave. Victory over sadness. Victory over depression. Victory. That's what we call this house of freedom. We are the bring the freedom and liberty. Every place where you go, to your family, to your sisters, to your brothers, to your neighbors, to your future husbands, to your husband and to your family, and to your wives. My brethren, is the, the resurrection of the Savior, Jesus Christ, is also important because it's validate who Yeshua, Messiah, Jesus Christ claimed to be. Okay. Namely, the Son of God. Ben Elohim Chaim, the Messiah. Amen. Wow. According to the Savior, Jesus Christ, His resurrection was a sign from heaven that authentically, uh, uh, authenticated His ministry. Amen. In Matthew chapter 16, from 1 to 4, say, the resurrection of Jesus Christ attest to by hundreds of eyewitnesses. My brethren, we believe that He is the powerful Savior. And He is answer for your life. Amen. Don't wait solution from somebody. Mm. Answer from somebody. Mm. He is the foundation Amen. from all the New Testament. Sometimes we are forget this power of glory who living in this world. The power of glory live in us. The another reason of resurrection of Jesus Christ is important is that is proof his sinless character and divine nature. Amen. The pure Savior, the pure Redeemer. The scriptures say God is holy one, will never see corruption in Psalm 16. Verse 10. And Jesus never saw corruption even after he died. See in book of Acts chapter 13 from 32 to 37 you read in home. But I see also in Acts chapter 13, 38 to 39. Look at the beautiful verse. It was on the basis of resurrection of the Christ that Paul preached through Jesus the forgiveness of sin is proclaimed to you. Amen. Through him, everyone who believes is set what? Free, Free from every sin. Amen. Wow. You know, our parents and grandparents, they live in uh, witchcraft. Some of them living in quack doctors. Mm -hmm. And some of them live in spirituality from new age. Until now. We are not part of these generational sicknesses, diseases, and evil spirits. Amen. And we receive Him. We receive what? Eternal life. Amen. We receive what? Everlasting power of healing and miracle signs and wonders. That's not what we passing through. Some symptoms, they not stay longer in you. Amen. You are healthy, strong. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, what they say. Amen. Amen. That's why I'm proclaiming temple of the Holy Spirit in my Amen. life. Temple of the Holy Spirit in my daughter. Temple today, I visit my mom and I, I wash her feet. And I do the treatment to her knee. And I proclaim temple of the Holy Spirit in her body. Amen. And she say after me, hold the prayer. Amen. Praise God, she believe her. And she not be going to hell. Amen. We need to save our families. Amen. Now maybe this year I need to pray for my sister to she be received the Lord. Amen. It's hard. It's difficult. But I need to pray maybe the Lord be send somebody to her life by miracle to change her life. You know, Amen. like He sent to my life person and change my life. You know, He's sending people. He touched the hearts of people. Amen. Sometimes not through the family, to complete person you never dream. Mm. And they say here the Christ resurrection also we understanding in Jesus say, I am resurrection and life. Amen. In John chapter 11, 25 say, 
and it's a statement claimed to be the source of both. There is no resurrection apart from Christ, no eternal life. Jesus do not more than give life. He is life. And that's why death has no power over him. Amen. Jesus confers of his life and those who trust in him so that we can share his triumph, miracles, signs, wonders over the dead. Amen. First John chapter 5, 11 to 12. You know, my brethren, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 53 to 57, you read in home. But we believe the Savior and Redeemer will personally experience resurrection because having life Jesus gave. We have overcome the dead. It is impossible for that to win. Wow. My brethren, this is the time. This is the season. You have the power in your mouth. Speak to the mountain. Amen. Speak to your problems. Amen. Speak to your some temptations, what you're passing Amen. through. Speak to them. Amen. No more longer in my life. Amen. I am the temple of God. Amen. Where only who dwell, not the demons and no evil spirit, but Savior Yeshua, Jesus Christ, living in me. Amen. This is the man of the power of resurrection. Amen. Amen. Prayer, power of resurrection. Yes, Yeshua. Resurrection is the power. Many people, including believers, view resurrection only as great historical event, like I said before. They pose each Easter to reverently re- remember the death and resurrection of Christ. But resurrection is also force. Power that belongs only to God. Amen? The death and resurrection of Savior Jesus Christ was much more than just something that happened one time. It was miracles. I call this supernatural (coughs) demonstration of God, attitude and power. You know, every time maybe you see I using the word supernatural because God created this word LTV. In Hebrew, LTV is supernatural. LTV, why is LTV supernatural? This is powerful word in supernatural. My brethren, he created this word in supernatural. God, creator of the universe. He is God of supernatural. He put a savior in supernatural. You know, where the world not believe. The flesh, he born in like we are human being to be the savior and redeemer. That's why I want this month you are change your way of thinking, change your way of understanding. You are the sons and daughters of you are royal priesthood. Have royalty in you. Amen. It's unbelievable. Royalty dwell in the royal blood in you Amen. because of the Savior. Amen. The power of resurrection. Philippians chapter 3 10 says. Philippians chapter 3, 10. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being comforted by his death. We're reading already many times this verse and continue proclaiming that he is. You know, Philippians, the third chapter, the verse that, that they maybe know him and the power of his resurrection. To know him as the power. Koach in Hebrew. Koach LTV. Power of supernatural. Amen. And fellowship of the suffering. <clears throat> That's meaning we are part of what he passed through, the suffering and pain. Be made comfortable and to his death. This meaning we are protected. We are comfort. We will not be anymore. You know, we are in the end times. We need to be, we have no more time to play. We are not time to be babysitter all the time for others. It's impossible like this. We are, have vision. The Church of Living Stone, House of Freedom, have tremendous vision for the end time. Yeah. And I want to, in, in, in beginning of May, to renew this vision for you. 
Why are we in this church? We're not other church of denomination. We want to be recognized by God. Amen. We want to God be dwell in this house. Amen. We know the perfect. We know the best. We know the exclusive. But we want to be really recognized by Him in the end time. Amen. And God said, you are good servant of God. Amen. You are good one. Amen. There is obviously for statement in this verse, my brethren, is what we read in, in the Philippians. There are, say the first, that may I know Him. Amen. Amen. Second, and the power of His resurrection. And the third, the fellowship of His suffering. Wow. The fur being made comfortable unto his dead. Paul is writing the, here to the saints of Philippi. Philippi was named by Alexander the Great. His father Philip. We are told that this was really birthplace of the Roman Empire. Because of the battle fought here and won. But Paul is considering in this epistle something infinitely greater than any perishing empire of man. Calvary expressed the love of God. The resurrection explained the power of God, like I said before. My brethren, the death of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross proved the real unconditional unshakable love of God. Amen. The resurrection proved the power of God and if he was were risen from the dead, God in ten we have under our feet that he had the world, the flesh, and the devil. The devil, the Lucifer. Again, I want to say, what is on our feet? The worldly, fleshly desires. Amen. The flesh, I want this. And the devil, the Lucifer. The Jesus is risen. He cut off from the world. He lived in it. But he is not of it. Amen. He is not part of this. He lives in this world like we live in physical. We still have clothes, food. We're part of this. But we're not part of this world, my brethren. The God always say, you're part of my kingdom. Amen. You're part of my new Jerusalem. Amen. My eternity. Some Christians do not preach about eternity. Some of them do not believe in, in rapture. They, some of them do not believe in resurrection power. They also call them conservative believers. Pure believers. But we are believe in the power of resurrection from the dead. Amen? Amen. We believe to His only way, life, and truth. Amen? Amen. Come we stand up. And we're praying today with believing for supernatural miracle happen for you this season. Amen. This season of resurrection. This season of hope. This season of signs and wonders and miracles in the name of Yeshua, the Messiah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Abba Father. We thank you, Majestic King, the Prince of Peace. We thank you, Abba Father, to you never leave us, never forsake us. The power of resurrection. To be the image of Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, is the G resurrection, is the experience the power of resurrection, my brethren, in three ways. The power of change, the power of victory, and the power of hope. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, to motivate us today, Lord. To refresh us today, Majestic King, the Prince of Peace. And you say, Lord, about change, the transformation. There is no power to change in man. Story. It's passing. But only through God we be changed. Amen. No one be changed you, only God. And you have desire to change. Amen. And you desire to grow. And you desire to follow the Messiah. And you want to be the true followers. The Messianic believer. That's what we call that. The followers of Christ. 
We are the messianic believers, the followers, the Messiah. Be victorious, God say. Yes, Lord. A great power is resurrection. Because you are conquered the world. There is no power in human victory. But only in your victory, God. Because you go to the cross. And you take the cross on you. You take the pain on you. You take the suffering on you. You take the loneliness of, uh, of you. On, uh, on yourself. Disappointed of people. Discouragement. Lord. We see the John life. Some have 95 years old. Some people say. In 1 John chapter 3, 2 says, Beloved, now are we are the sons of God? It do not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when He shall appear, we shall be like Him. Amen. For we shall see Him as He is. Oh, hallelujah. Do you want to live with Messiah? the Christ, the Savior, eternally and be like He, my brethren. There is the power and the hope that Christ, Messiah, offered to us to be the image of Christ. Resurrection is to experience the power of salvation. The power of resurrection, the power of miracles, the power of hope you say where is the power to make things new where is the power of salvation you say Lord like we read in Romans chapter 6 33 to 5 you say knowing yet not that so many of us we are baptized in Jesus Christ we're baptized and to his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism and to death. That like a Messiah was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, Abba. Amen. Even so, we also shall walk in newness of life. Amen. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in likeness of His resurrection power of glory. My brethren, the conclusion for today, this message, being in the image of Messiah, resurrection means experiencing His power in your life. He has power to change. He has power of victory. He has power of hope. He has power of salvation. And He is inviting you. He's sending to you today the supernatural invitation. There is only one way that needs to be today understand. Do you want to be in the image of His resurrection? If you are the believers in Him, but not living faithfully? Why did you let go of that power? If you are not believer, this the evening God say, take hold of His power today and renew your covenant in God. My brethren, I'm meeting for these 29 years many believers, Christian followers of Christ ministers servants of God and I question after what I see how they live and what they say and how they speak with curses with criticism and I question and they are believers and they are really understand the power of resurrection Lord be merciful that's what God said I come to judge the church I did not say I come to judge the world 
judge, judge the church shaking the body of Christ to purify from cheaper materials you're not mixing gold with aluminium Amen. you're not mixing silver with gold yes. it's must to separate yes. what is unclean unpure unholy Yeshua we are depending on you we are giving to you the glory the praise the adoration today we enter into the season of power of resurrection and Yeshua the Messiah Jesus Christ the Savior and the Redeemer yes and amen we thank you Abba Father for this coming week we thank you Lord for election in Israel we ask you Lord you will be done and the election in Israel. We not raise up human being. We only want to say, Lord, Israel need the godly leader Amen. who lead us in righteousness Amen. and purity. Raise up the godly leader in the land of Israel. Lord, we are in the preparation for the Passover. We not be anymore bring the slavery spirit of confusion of this world we are part of eternity in the name of the father son and the holy spirit yeshua the messiah jesus christ yes and amen